Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, welcome to another video. This is um, me showing off my locker room from SmackDown vs Raw 2007. Um, as you can see, I've gone for the ridden effect, and again, the whole point, uh, the whole purpose of this um, this video is, um, well, as, as I said, it's showing off my locker room. So again, let's have a look. Right, there's a Cactus Jack poster and an acoustic guitar in the corner there. Plasma TV. And um, they two things that are on the coffee table, I think they're both magazines, but one of them is profiles, the other one, like, um, you could buck around with the loading screens. I've got an Edge poster there. I've got an uncle who's a big Edge fan, so that's the main reason I've got that there. Uh, the Yin Yang rug there. Um, I was going to put something there as well, but I just never got around to it. Um, the last character that I, unlocked, that I unlocked was Steve Austin, and you could get Steve Eisers, but obviously as, um, I'm actually straight edge now, it probably wouldn't have been because it probably wouldn't have been um, F core or whatever. Right, here's uh, the training, or well, the changing, stroke training room. Got an evolution poster there. Bear, uh, bear rug on the floor. Um, We've got a Steve Austin thing on the left, RVD, and I think it's a DX, plus there's a DX figure at the bottom there. Um, with this Smackdown vs Raw games, like, I think, probably with 2008 coming out, they should have kept like, a lot of the good things about this game, because um, they, they were sort of teetering towards making like one of the greatest games ever, but again, at the same time, you have to make it as big as possible, so like, you've got... Like you've got a big roster, or a big bunch of guys that you can unlock. Um, again, stuff like that in the background, like the two trophy cabinets, one with all your belts, one with the trophies. Uh, we've got another couple of posters there, like Steve Austin and ECW. Uh, the Gumball thing there. Um, one thing I was going to say though is the belt situation wasn't that great on this. I mean, fair enough, you got like all the regular belts, but I don't understand why they made the here we go. Why they made the Spoken Skull Championship for for um for not million dollar championship and hardcore championship? They're understandable, but I think the hard uh, the European championship, sorry, was a big part of well most of. Certainly the attitude era along with um, the hardcore belt and the million dollar championship is Ted DiBiase's and that would have been a great belt for the, the legends to fight for. Well, I've got a Smackdown dog as well, I'll never notice that. And, um, and yeah, it's just, thanks for watching.